Welcome back to the new section in the chat GPT. This section is dedicated for all the SQL users, for all the database users. Now, if you're an SQL user, work with day and night, definitely you know the commands, you know how to create a query, how to write a query, how to get the understanding. But this will be again a cherry on top of your SQL knowledge what you have right now. So in this section, we'll be covering many, many topics related to chat GPT for SQL users. The first video would be related. How do I create a SQL query with the help of chat GPT? Now, there are some times you don't know how to create a query, which are advanced query like sub queries and the views and other places. So you can ask this chat GPT to create a query for you. That's the first video we'll be covering. The second part will understand if I have a query already. So if my colleague has left the company and he has given me the SQL work, or if I'm a person who has newly joined the company and I do not know the meaning of that particular code, I can copy and paste that code and chat GPT will explain me what exactly this particular query is going to do for the SQL part. The third will understand the SQL fundamental topics. Now, sometimes queries is one part, but if I want to understand the basic concepts, the fundamental topics in the SQL, I can take help of this chat GPT. What are the right questions I have to ask them? This is what we'll be covering this section. The next part, we'll see how to work on the comments part. Now, suppose if you're a coder, if you're a person who works on the writing the SQL queries, now a right code would be when you have the proper coding with that, the comments as well. So the comments, how do I get the proper comments with the explanation? I can ask chat GPT, I can upload the code and I can get the comments or the descriptions about that particular code and I can use it back. Remember, this is a good practice in the organization so that suppose if you leave a company, then the next person will be watching that particular code will have no issues in understanding the code. The next part would be related to debugging and troubleshooting the errors. Now, obviously, there is no code hidden in the world where debugging is not required. Debugging is testing the code and also finding out what are the issues and the errors. So here in this section, I'll help you understand how do you find out the problems will purposely make a mistake in the code and try to put in GPT. Chat GPT will give you the exact line, exact sentence where the mistake it has found. Okay, this will help all the newcomers to understand and debug and troubleshoot all the errors. The last video of this section is dedicated to all the instructors, teachers who are spreading the knowledge, who are doing a very good work in helping people understand. This is especially for teachers, coach and mentors. How do you create MCQs, assignment, projects, getting the work done? and explain a proper concept in a simple, very, very simple language. So this is dedicated for all the teachers. So get an understanding so you can help guide and share all the knowledge with everyone in the world. So these are all the topics we'll be covering in this particular section for SQL. Now, SQL is a, a tool which is a database which is used in most of the organization and mostly used by the data analysts in the organization which are helping to create better and better reports so that the end user, the end user of the reports can take a quick decision. So let's understand about all the topics of chat GPT for the SQL users.